Hey everybody, it's Ken and Daniil. Hello. And we're here with Van Sturgeon. I'm excited to have Van on because he's like one of he's like an old guy like me. Like like you know, he's been through it, ups and downs. He's had lots of success. He's had land developer, home builder, general contractor, restoration, property management. And um, Van lives in Chicago, Toronto, Miami. He's semi-retired. Welcome to the show, Van. Hey, thank you very much, Ken, Danielle, for uh, having me. You know, how you got started, because I everybody knows my story, but I'd love to know yours. Well, I uh, my parents are uh, immigrants. Yeah. They found out that the building that they were living in actually had gone up for sale. So instead of actually going and buying their dream home, they became landlords. They borrowed from friends and family to put down a down payment, and they bought the, this apartment building. We had to buckle down. We had to do everything ourselves. We couldn't afford to use electricians and plumbers and painters, all that kind of stuff. We were able to manage through things turned around. And uh, in the process, it was a great investment that my, that my parents made. And then eventually I went off to university, graduated, could have became a lawyer. Uh, I came back home and I just didn't want that. I couldn't see myself doing that. I want to become a general contractor. I like this renovation stuff, buying, flipping, uh, creating a portfolio. And that's how I got into other things like uh, property management. Yeah. The other thing that uh, I remember when Daniel was first looking at this one house, like we, we went over to it and it had like horrible pictures. I was like, she's like, oh, I'm going to pass on that. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. I Always wanted the you know tidy and already done up place, but that's a lot more. Expensive. And I'm like, no, 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 this is the one. This is the one we want, you know, because like you, I, you know, that's where the value is created if you know how. Absolutely. Well, I, I that's one of the things I kind of preach, and I discuss uh, in the folks that I have you know, uh, encountered or, or helped. Usually, they'll get in the first real estate deal that they, they you know, the trend that they do is they do it all themselves. You know, Hollywood romanticizes the whole DIY stuff. You just go in there and you rip out the washrooms and the bathrooms and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you know, that two or three month project all of a sudden turns into seven or eight. Uh, every weekend that you have it, every vacation you start, you know, you end up wasting trying to do that. And a lot of folks after afterwards realize it saved a lot of money. But at the end of the day, they they didn't uh, they didn't like the process. They they didn't want to do that. Though they turn around the next property if they if they ever get around to do it, if they purchase a second property, they'll hire a general contractor. The problem with hiring a general contractor is that you got to be very careful of how to plan and manage something out like that because what will end up happening is general contractors will take advantage of you. And so after that first experience and the second experience, a lot of folks don't know, aren't sure what to what to do. And so that's when it's, that's where I step in and I help people in a whole, you know, the whole systems and processes associated with being able to properly plan and manage a successful renovation, but also at the same time, being able to scale. Because at the end of the day, as a real estate investor, we, that's, we want to create a portfolio, we want to get some mass, right? And in order to be able to do that, you have to have systems. You got to be able to have some processes in place to be able to take you from identifying that deal and then through that whole value add renovation process to get you at the end of the day to uh, to meeting your goals. Uh, for those people who don't know, how, what's the best way to find a contractor and to manage a contractor? You know, because you you look at it from the lens of being a contractor, uh, but this is where a lot of things come up. Right. And, sure. and uh, so what, what, what are some things people can do? Uh, one of the biggest things that I have people come to me complaining about, whether it's on a single family home side or multifamily is we can't find contractors or the contractors we find are all so busy. I, I'm a big advocate of, uh, of being a professional real estate investor, creating a detail scope of work and then contacting contractors and by virtue of a detailed scope of work presenting it, and if it's done properly, you know, good general contractors, good contractors will look at that document and will will be interested in quoting it because all the information is there. Good contractors hate having to babysit. Uh, we I make money by turnover of projects, not sitting there milking one. And and another place, another issue that I find that folks that complain about is that they don't know where to find contractors. One of the things uh, every real estate investor should be doing, again, single family or multifamily, in the markets that you are concentrating, that you have, you know, that you got some scale in, you have relationships. You created a team there. You've got real estate agents. You've got mortgage brokers, insurance brokers, wholesalers, hard money lenders, banks. You've got a whole bunch of people there on the ground in that marketplace. Each one of them has a sphere of influence also, which includes contractors. If you were to go reach out to your power team, if you've done your job properly, 
you will have a whole list of individuals that you can get from them that are, have references. These are people that have been working with those people so that you got a list already created to be able to reach out to. Next level, which should be, you should be a member of your local real estate investment association, the local RIAs. You should be a member of your local meetup group. You should be maybe a member of a Facebook group that's specific to your area where there's real estate investors jibber jabbering. And those are the places where you send the word out. And, and based on the, what you get back from those, you should again add again to that big old list, the big old bucket of more contractors for you to draw upon to talk to. Once you have that and you created it and you got a detailed scope of work, you identify that list of people you want to do business with. Then you go out there and you tender it. You say, hey, here is my detailed scope of work. I want you to quote it. And I give you a deadline to get me a quote back. Once you have quotes, if you've done your job correctly and you got to create a detailed scope of work, those quotes should be more or less around the same. And from there, you identify one or two that you want to do business with. And then the next step is you got to go out and check references. Don't be lazy. Get in your car. Go visit the job, previous job sites. Talk to the principals there. Go to uh, existing job sites where a contractor is working, see the condition, because Ken, what's good for me quality wise might be horse doo doo to you. Once you got that, that tendered out, you got these quotes, you've identified a client, I mean, sorry, a contractor you want to do business. I can, uh, there's an agreement you got to put in the place uh, that you're going to present you with. You make sure that your detailed scope work is part of that agreement. You need to have a payment schedule and a progress schedule attached to the agreement. And, you, and, and if once you implement everything I've talked about, it becomes sufferless. And it's really, now you're banging out cookies. Now you're banging out cookies because you got everything nailed down. You got a scope of work. You figured out what you need to do in every uh, project with a goal. And then, you, and then you know how to handle contractors. So Van, fascinating, fascinating talk. How, what's the best way people can reach you? Because I know you help a lot of people, you know, managing through a lot of this stuff and other things that we didn't touch on today. What, what's the best way for people to, to reach out to you? Well, I've got a website you, you uh, mentioned. That's uh, vansturgeon.com. Uh, I've got a wealth of information there from books and and, and, and uh, free giveaways that people can uh, download and, and uh, read. Uh, also, like uh, there's an opportunity, I, uh, there's a free training there that folks can watch uh, to be able to walk through in more detail the steps to a planning and managing a successful renovation where really you should be able to mechanize this, become, you know, be able to, to create a multifamily portfolio or real estate portfolio. Well, you're doing it. And, uh, you know, congratulations on all your success. And I'm glad you're helping others uh, achieve their dreams and successes. And as always, Van, it's uh, always great chatting with you. Thanks for your time today. Thanks, man. Thank nice to meet much. you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Okay. Cheers.